Okay, so this weekend I'm uh, helping a friend take his 47-foot uh, vagabond from Fort Lauderdale to Sarasota. And uh, I got on board last night and we got it all provisioned and stowed to the, today. And we went to leave and uh, the throttle linkage cable snapped as we pulled off the dock. So <laughs> right between these two drawbridges. <laughs> so uh, we got it turned around and we got it to the other bank and and uh, roped off and by the sheer willpower I guess and luck and a little bit of skill mixed together we got it we got it safely to a dock. Okay, so as soon as as soon as we went dead stick on the throttle, I was, I was like, oh, obvious. I knew because of it happening to me before that the throttle linkage there was an error, there was a problem somewhere in there. So I got down here. No, I was waiting for you guys to finish up. I got it all connected. I just need to uh, tighten it up and tense it. Sure thing. So um, <laughs> I bounded down deck and found out that you know you can still manipulate the throttle, you know, manually. And uh, so we found the linkage snap up there at the binnacle by the steering wheel. And um, we removed the throttle cable, which comes from here, or I removed from here, up along the wall, up through that little hole up there, which goes up to the steering column, uh, where the other guys are working on top deck, I'm on bottom deck. Um, so we got this new cable, we just got it installed, and uh, there, I got it all hooked up down here, and they are, uh, finishing up up there so I can then tighten it down and get it nice and secured against the wall but um, that's about where we're at now it's been a lot of fun I was, I was like uh, wow it's gonna be so awesome getting on it I mean I'm really still stoked to do the trip here but uh, I was thinking that you know wow, a nice big boat you know it'll be neat to have a different change where things don't break all the time yeah I'm narrating. All right, let's. But uh, yeah, if the linkage cable is loose, then you'll get play in the throttle assembly. And so that means we should need to put a clamp to the wall or something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I took off the clamps and now I'm resetting them into the where the new cable wants them. I didn't even see clamps on the damn thing. So. Only one or only two were actually functional. Mm -hmm. One of them was broken, and uh, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna just replace the part that was broken and put it in if it's needed. But this cable, I think, might be a touch shorter than the other. All right. There's one side, and my other screw. There it is. We're good down here. Do you want to try to manipulate it? You dirty shut up. You son of a bitch. You can do that. Not insult it. I always, no. get, I always get those mixed up. All, All right. The we're golden. functioning fairly well. <laughs> There's a good news, bad news. The bad news is it's held together with vice grips. The good news is the vice grips are holding it together. <laughs> All right. So, hey Dan, yes. what's this out of the port hat? Here we are underway. Got to go through our last bridge, waiting on the 17th Street Bridge. So we're just in a holding pattern here around all the mega yachts. Dale on the helm. Arr! We're ex 
sitting at Bar Cut in Fort Lauderdale. A little choppy going out, but it's always supposed to be. All right, looks like we got a fish on. Uh, we were just talking, we we're like, oh, yeah, baby. he's got a red red tail snapper yeah. right there, I think. Wow. I see a red tail. That's some good eating there. Oh, man. That red tail snapper? Yeah? Yep. So we were just saying, you know, this is great sailing, beautiful water. The only other thing that could have happened was we catch a fish. And we simultaneously all look back <laughs> and there's a fish bobbing along. Gutter with the hook in. Might be the way to do it too. No. Fish tacos no. night, baby. <laughs> it's just, just got all three hooks right there.
Really? Yeah. It was one magnificent yeah. meal. One of the best meals I've ever had. Yeah. I, I kid you not. Really? Yep. Oh. Best meal on the best meal I've ever had. I'm not going to reload. <laughs> I'm not going to reload. 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 I'm not going to re
Uh, past the bathroom. All <laughs> All right, we are leaving Marathon. Uh, we're about to cross through the Marathon Bridge, which will take us from the Atlantic into the Caribbean. Gulf. The Gulf? Is that the same thing? No. Oh, in the Gulf of Mexico. And it's crab season, so there are lots of crab pots. It's really tight navigation north of the bridge until we clear the keys. So we'll be motoring for a few miles here until we until we clear them. And we get a, where we can get on a good steady tack. The bridge is 65 feet tall, and this vessel has a clearance of 57 feet. So we should have eight feet of clearance. Yes, if, if we're at high tide, uh, with a high tide, maybe even seven less. What are we at? 65? Yeah, we'll have plenty. looks close. Always looks closer from down below, doesn't it? I was going with a, we were traveling with a guy across Okeechobee, you know that railroad bridge at 55 feet? He draws, he, his clearance is 56 and he lost his VHF antenna on it. Sausages. Looks like they're coming off the grill. Oh, man down. Neptune's eating good today. That was yours, Dale. I'll serve them through here. Okay. That's perfect. Dolphinarius, Dolphinadango. 
Hey buddy. about I think it stopped shooting. Oh yeah? Yep. No, no, it's going if it darkens up. It's just battery saving. Okay. One, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Hey, bud. Oh, hey there. How are you? Whoa. <laughs> Dolphins off the bow! 
Hey, bud. Hey, he's a big one. You're a big one, aren't you? Hey guys, you coming back to visit? Hey! Here he comes! Here he comes, buddy boy! Here he comes, my boy! Where'd you go, buddy? Here he is, just hanging out under the bow. Just uh, hanging out. Oh, hey! <laughs> Where are you going? Come on back. You are a beautiful creature. A beautiful creature. Yes, you are. Oh. There he is. Come here, buddy. Hey! Hello, dolphin. Dolphinus. Dolphin Arius. Hey guy, how are you doing? Oh, hey both of you. Oh, where's number two? Where's number two? There's somebody. That's not number two though. That's number uno. Numero uno. Numero tres. Hey buddy! Hi! How are ya? Hi there! Hi there! Oh, you guys are cute! You guys are cute! Hanging out together! That's so nice! See him right here? There's three of them. I don't know where number two is. One of them's got two stripes on his side. This is number three, the biggest one. Number one is here. Oh wait, that's number three. He's a big guy. Hey, buddy. From, don't you? Yeah, prop. Yeah. Look at his dorsal fin. Yeah. Well, they've they've got some kind of uh, like rot or something. Their dorsals and their tail fins. The tips of them are white. He's missing. The oh, he's missing. Yeah, he sure is. This is a, this isn't the same one I that we noticed the white on. It must have been number two with the white. Hey, guy. You filming that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Of course, I'm filming it. 
Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> There's number one. Hey, number one. He's just darting back and forth. <laughs> I think they can sense more the, more about us than we give them credit for. Ah, ignorance is bliss. Besides, I get cancer in one of them, I can just hack it off and I don't care. I did put SPF 50 on them though. Coming right back. They hung with us for a little while and then they ran over to that crab boat and now they're back. Boy, he's fast. There's no way he's doing it to you. No, he's just came, come here to hang out. He's battery operated. Came here strictly to hang out. What are you guys doing out here, man? This is a very amazing spot to be up on the bowsprit of a sailing vessel. That sound is just like the surf coming in. I, Used to have a, or used to use a sound machine back at when I lived in a house that made the very noise that was being made by the waves here. wildly natural about the whole process, the whole thing, the experience. Great place to be. Great life to do.
We are about to pull in at Venice Inlet. We've got four miles to go. About to strike the rest of the sails. Bring her on in. The mizzen and the main still up. The jib's already down. We took the staysail down. Was that this morning or last night? Last night. out into Venice. We'll be stopping at Crow's Nest to get some fuel and then we'll head on to Sarasota Bay and pick up a morning ball at Marina Jack's and wait until high tide tomorrow. To bring her in to South Point Marina in South Sarasota. Everybody's worn out. I had an excep exceptionally crappy night last night. I thought we lost you. It was terrible. Man, the barometric pressure fell out of the floor. And my nerves what just... Happened to you? What my nerve you? pain went extremely crazy because uh, of the barometric drop. Yeah. So ah. then I <laughs> take my uh, <laughs> Chinese <laughs> herbal pills and they just... The only way to... <laughs> The only way to knock out nerve pain is to knock out all nerves. So it's kind of a shotgun approach. So, so what did you take? Uh, it's called, uh, oh, something, I forget the name of it. Something but it's, very good. It's a Chinese uh, herb that they've been using for thousands of years. Uh, Corydalis is the main ingredient of it. Yeah. No more room. I was worried. I thought I was serious. Man, it was rough. So the only thing I can do when it comes that bad is take a couple of those things and sleep it off. Yeah, it knocks me out and basically deadens all my nerve receptors. Right. Of, you know, everything. So well, you came back really well. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I'm used to it, you know. I, How often does it get like that? Not often. I usually have to do that maybe a dozen times a year. Really? Never fun. But by the time, I usually hold out as long as I can to take them. I don't like taking them. So by the time I take them, I'm basically exhausted. Right. Just and from seizing and down. from uh, yeah. uh, writhing so much. Well, you've been, you were so active yesterday, too. Yeah. Getting out there. And... Yeah. It, that, that probably had part to do with it also and part to do with my inability to continue to handle it. You know, I was exhausted already. Yeah. So body, when your body says no, it means no. Yep. Venice Inlet here. The last time I came through Venice Inlet, I was on about time coming out. And a few hours after that, we grounded hard at Stump Pass and bent the rudder. This place has a special place in my heart. Not quite as special as Stump Pass, though. That,
Minnesota. About to uh, no try to squeeze this big girl into the marina, which will be a tight fit, but we got Dan in the dinghy over there, ready to be the tugboat, push our bow around if we need it. And uh, Dale on the helm, who has lots of experience. So it'll probably go pretty smoothly. Hope so, anyway. All right, so all you uh, people out there that have got disabilities or whatever you want to call them, don't think you could do anything, watch this. This is a man on a mission, doesn't let himself go. Look at that, he's down, in and, in and out of the boat. And this is up. Watch out, baby girl. I'm coming right back. Can't ask for more, but better than that. Nice.